Making the cut again. Local hair salons and barber shops now allowed to reopen their doors for indoor operations. News Channel 3's Dana Romero has more on the excitement from business owners who are happy to be back in business. Wash, cut, and blow dry. Hair salons like Salon 119 in Palm Springs are back to the swing of things. I feel crazy. I cried on Friday. I broke down and cried because, uh, you know, it's been such an unknown thing. Owner Michelle Gerber says there was no hesitation reopening once again during the pandemic. Very nervous about returning to work the first time, not the second time. I was really, really just over it. So, and we know how to do it now. Thank you for calling. Phone calls ringing off the hook with customers booking appointments. Because you keep looking at yourself and it really, my hair was getting to the point where I started looking like my mother. I thought, no, I can't go there. I've got to, I need help. Customers saying it was worth the wait. Oh, this is like the epitome of comfort. Can you imagine being outside right now? I'd be melting. How excited am I? I could jump off the chair and kiss you. The salon restocked, re-sanitized, and safety measures are in place. Masks, temperature checks, sanitation <clears throat> at the desk when you walk in. We have capes that go right in the wash. We have our own washer dryer. We um, are, there's no more magazines. Uh, we have shields, as you saw, around the shampoo bowls. Uh, we are all distance. At Sunny Dunes Barbershop in Palm Springs, they're also ready to reopen. This is my shop. It was, you know, we don't need to be shut down again. I'd like to stay open. Barbershop owner Ricky Strauss says he's made all the modifications to operate indoor. If we have more than one person waiting, we ask them to wait in their car until the next barber is waiting. We're not using the middle chair. So we only use the two end chairs that are six feet apart. Customers couldn't wait to be back in his chair. Last time I had my hair cut was in L.A. And I've uh, been waiting for a place to open up. I was thinking of having friends do it, but I don't trust them. That was Danny Romero reporting.